Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back with more Avatar. We're watching episode 18 today. Now, I'm pretty sure I saw in the title, this one was called Waterbending Master. So I think we're finally going to get what we've been wondering for so long, which is when are we going to meet this infamous waterbending master? So it's going to be cool because we have seen Aang and Katara improve quite a lot. Just, just on their own. Just really. on their own and in the world, slowly getting more resourceful with water. Especially Katara last episode with all the ice bending she did, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, we've seen her do it before, but this was on a larger scale and in a very crisis kind of moment. So we're finally getting to see our waterbenders or Avatar and Katara just level up a bit. I'm keen. We haven't really seen high level waterbending. We've seen elite firebending. We've seen pretty good quality Earth elite bending. earthbending. And, we've, and, you know, we've got Aang as an airbending master, but we have not seen high quality waterbending at all yet. We've only I seen mean, little glimpses. decent, like little things, but nothing well, but, not, but what we're watching is two rookies. Yeah. Aang and Katara are literally rookies. They've never True. ever been trained properly. True. We don't know the scope of proper waterbending and, you know, and, and what that could entail. Not so, even close. Yeah, I've just been easily impressed then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've seen, you could argue that some of the firebenders we've seen are masters. Mm. We've seen, you know, Boomy and other... Boomy was a, an earthbending master, I presume, he or, or close to it. He was literally the, like the, the, the king of that land. Yeah. But we haven't seen a high-level waterbender yet. We've followed literally Katara, who's just a complete newbie. Yeah. So it'll be cool to see. And I think that's going to level up Aang's team a lot as well because now they're going to have Katara in, in, in full fighting force. Yeah. I mean, Aang will be able to do it as well, but... Just having that extra person, like, you know, if you need to double up with waterbending or have a variety, you know, soccer's genius with airbending and then waterbending could be pretty cool. As always, we want to say a big thank you to all our Patreon supporters. Your support means the world to us and we really appreciate it. If you are interested in supporting us over on Patreon, check out the link in our description. We do have early access to upcoming reactions as well as uncut reactions available over on our Patreon. For everyone over on YouTube, if you enjoyed today's reaction, remember to leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of today's reaction. Okay, that's great. Let's meet this waterbending master. A little koala. I'm not one to complain, but can't up a fly any higher. <laughs> He's tired. Yeah, man's exhausted. Why don't we all get on your back and you can fly us to the North Pole? <laughs> Shit. Aang ain't playing. Sokka's ready for takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> My mate got on. <laughs> Can't even find the Northern Water Tribe. There's nothing up here. Ooh, maybe they're below. You reckon? I don't know. Something's doing that. Well, I thought it's like a defensive mechanism. Damn, real waterbenders. This is cool. We found the Water Tribe. Damn. This isn't some little earth village we can just march into. The Water Tribe is a great nation. Okay. Ooh. There's a reason they've Power survived a hundred years of war. Oh, shit. This is going to be cool. That's what it's building up to. Yeah. Oh, I'm pumped. The North wow, that's water so tribe. cool. We're finally here. Awesome. Finally, yeah. dude. What a journey it's been. How long has it been? Like in... Oh, wow. 18 episodes. <laughs> In their time. I feel like we've been through so much to get here. Wow. I can't believe how many waterbenders live up here. It's so intricate. Yeah, damn. The northern tribe's way bigger than the southern tribe. Southern tribe sucks. <laughs> to, be, so to be happy. fair, the men had left, so... Yeah. Man. But this is like a full kingdom. The layout is so nice. Looks, I was going to say, it looks beautiful. They're like celebrities, royalty. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, soccer. Yeah, she is. <laughs> He's in love. <laughs> oh, Iroh, I've missed you. For loves, for seasons, 
<laughs> not bad, Ara, not bad. Oh. Always gotta ruin the mood. Always. Damn. Good welcoming party. <laughs> They're scared of Papa. <laughs> And they have brought with them someone very special. Someone who many of us believed disappeared from the world until now. The Avatar. It's almost overwhelming. <laughs> Hello, it's like we finally made it. We also celebrate my daughter's 16th birthday. Oh, Princess the Yue daughter. is now of marrying age. <laughs> Song is ready. Now Master Paku and his students will perform. Master Paku, okay, he might be the teacher. I feel like I'm there with them in this whole like. I know. Life. It feels like a very significant time in history. <laughs> Sokka. Hi there, Sokka, Southern Water Tribe. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> what was that <laughs> voice? You're a princess, huh? You know, back in my tribe, I'm kind of like a princess. <laughs> 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 oh no. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe we could do an activity together. Do an activity? I think he means hang out. <laughs> Tough Very crowd. smooth. <laughs> Katara is there to always take the piss. If you want to relax, then I suggest visiting a tropical island. <laughs> if not, I'll see you both at sunrise. Oh, dude. All teachers are the same. They're all tough as gods. They have to be in times of war. No, it's about our plans. There is a bit of a problem. <sighs> Poor Zuko, I can't get a break. I recruited them for a little expedition to the North Pole. Uncle, is that true? I'm afraid so. He's taking everyone. Even the cook. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't have you getting in my way again. Oh. Damn. oh. There's no way. Oh, he, he realized. Knows. Uh oh. Are you skilled with broadswords, Prince Zuko? I'm not. They're antiques. Shit. Just decorative. Keep that up. He's a criminal and an enemy of the Fire Nation. But I have a feeling justice will catch up with him soon. Oh, be quiet. Damn. Damn, that sucks, man. Good morning, Master Paku. No, please, march right in. I'm not <laughs> concentrating or anything. Oh, <laughs> know uh, what they were expecting. You didn't tell me your friend was a girl. In oh. our tribe, it is forbidden for women to learn waterbending. No way! No way! Why? After all that... Oh. Here, the women learn from Yagoda to use their waterbending to heal. Okay. Right, so they're not warriors, it's just be a warrior. But our tribe has customs, rules. Well, your rules stink. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Well, have fun teaching yourself. I'm sure you'll do a great job. Wait. Your responsibility is bigger than that. Yeah. You can't risk your training for me. You have to learn from Master Paku, even if he is a big jerk. To be fair, he's following their tribe's customs. Yeah. Right? I'm happy you enjoyed yourself. Well, it wasn't as much fun after you left. Oh. oh. <laughs> yes, at a place for some time. <laughs> I'd love to. Smooth. I'm with you on that bridge tonight. Great. I'll see you. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Sucker. Sucker the smooth. <laughs> That's funny. You all seem highly qualified for the mission I have in mind. Oh, the, the pirates. pirates. I believe you're acquainted with Prince Zuko. Oh, no. Oh, he's definitely going on the hate list. <laughs> Are you Yagoda? Are you here for the healing lesson? Oh, no. That's demoralizing. But anger teacher after what he learns. Yeah. But also, healing's going to be it's useful. important. Yeah, I was going to say, still. Your betrothal necklace. You're getting married, right? My grandmother gave my mother this necklace, and my mother passed it down to me. Oh. You're the spitting image of Kana. Wait. 
What? When I was about your age, I was friends with Kana. She was born here. Damn. She was born oh. in Northern Tribe. Your grandmother had an arranged marriage with a young waterbender. He carved that necklace for her. Oh, wow. She left without saying goodbye. I wonder if it's the waterbending master that Aang's got. Maybe. <laughs> I love Zuko, dude. He's a badass. Cowards. He knows what's up. Shit. Damn. Oh my god. Like he hasn't been through enough. Wow. I don't know if Jao is going on the hate list, man. Holy crap. He's not dead, but imagine Ira thinking he's dead. Shit. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have asked you to come here. That's a bit dramatic. Yeah. Just talk to him. Seems to be out of place too. How's warrior training going? Ugh. Oh, so he's doing warrior training too. So how's waterbending training? Master Poophead won't teach her because <laughs> she's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just teach her, Aang? Why didn't I think of that? That way, you have someone to practice with and I get to learn waterbending. Everyone's happy. I'm not happy. But you're never happy. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. He comes up with the solution and he gets shafted. Watch Aang get barred at some point. Yeah. I got it! That was amazing! That wasn't me. Yeah. Oh, damn. You have disrespected me, my teachings, and my entire culture. I'm sorry, I... You are no longer welcome as my student. Dude, it's the Avatar. Like, it's bigger than your bloody customs. Damn. No way am I apologizing to a sour old man like you! Uh, Katara? I'll be outside if you're man enough to fight me. Oh, oh what? what? Katara's gonna get schooled, but sure. And to hear about Prince Zuko, just devastated. Yeah, I'm sure you are. You know who was behind the attack? Yes, pirates. We had a run-in with them a while back. Oh, he knows. Iroh's not dumb. Have you reconsidered my offer? It will be an honor to serve as your. Is he actually convinced? To the Fire Nation. Really? Oh, I hope he's just playing him. So, me too. You don't have to do this for me. I can find another teacher. I'm not doing it for you. Someone needs to slap some sense into that guy. Oh, God. She talks game. I know. I'm looking forward to it. Go back to the healing huts with the other women where you belong. It's going to rub her the wrong way. Fine. You want to learn to fight so bad? Study closely. Damn. It's gonna be like next level water bending. Oh shit! Damn. <laughs> Soccer. <laughs> it's cool to see a proper water bender. Damn! How cool is that? He froze her feet. Oh, she did it. I mean, she's doing well. She is. Dude, she's come a long way. What the hell? Since when can she do all this? I know. Does she really need a teacher? <laughs> well, I'm impressed. So am I. But you still won't teach me, will you? No. And she ain't stopping. Damn. Dude, since when was she this good? I know. Oh, where's her this, necklace. Where's this fight been all this time? He'll see the necklace. I reckon he's the guy. This fight is over. Come back 
here. I'm not finished yet. Yes, you are. Here we go. He's the one. I made this 60 years ago for the love of my life. For Kama. My grand grand was supposed to marry you? Why didn't she? Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, boy called it again. <laughs> Zhao doesn't suspect a thing. That's yes. your go. You didn't have to do this. But he's injured. Stay hidden until we get to the North Pole and the Avatar will be yours. Good luck. Oh, oh love Iro. him. Iro love Legend. you. Grand Grand wouldn't let your tribe's stupid customs run her life. That's why she left. That's why she left. <laughs> Go get her. Why is she crying? I don't know. <laughs> She's emotionally unstable. Something obviously happened. No, Sokka. It's okay. You don't have to say anything. What is it? Just let it be. Okay. Oh, Sokka lands his okay, kiss. Okay, now I'm really confused. <laughs> it's because I'm engaged. Oh. I'm sorry. Arranged. Yeah. That's why she was crying when she, okay. Engaged so far, she only turned 16. Hey, Katara. What do you think you're doing? It's past sunrise. You're late. Ooh. Oh. Okay, she earned her way. I like it. I like it. But those healing lessons were useful too. Set a course for the Northern Water Tribe. Damn. And it begins. Let's go. Shit. Well, it looks like it's going to be a big couple episodes. I really like this episode. I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah. It was very fulfilling. I feel like it covered a lot of ground, a lot of history. We got to know more about the Water Tribe and Katara and some of their background. It was a pretty good episode. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to what's to come. I think the next two episodes, because it's a part one, part two next, and then that's the end of the book. So that's going to be, I'm expecting a big battle. Mm. I'm expecting some cool water bending versus fire bending. Oh, yeah. I think this is what I've been waiting for. Like This is going <laughs> to really show us what Avatar has potential to be. I really like this episode as well. There were so many details as well. I mean, going back to Grand Grand, but there's been so much emphasis on that necklace for so long. And we actually finally get to see the significance of it. And I think it's a step in the right direction for, you know, letting the female waterbenders actually fight and break a few of those customs that maybe worked once, but could be useful to change now. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. For a 20-minute episode, there's a yeah. lot covered in this one. So much happened. I mean, it was amazing to see the infrastructure of the Water Tribe. That and was really their, cool. Yeah. It, it's actually so beautiful and so well-structured and well thought out. I don't know. And really. all the buildings made out of ice. It's all pretty yeah. cool. And it was really enjoyable. We finally got to see a proper waterbending fight. Granted that the master was still holding back because he didn't want to hurt her. But... The resourcefulness, especially from Kantara, like where the hell did she come I know. from? Flipping and everything. Dude, the most we've seen her do is like a little that little whip yeah. with a pouch of water and stuff here and there, and a little bit of you know when they help you soccer with the boat, and all of a sudden she could do all that. I'm like, dude, where were you all these fights? I think when you have that little bit of extra confidence and just like you know what, I'm just gonna fight for this, you might surprise yourself. Yeah, well, I'm expecting to see a lot more fight from her after what I saw today. That was epic. Mm. That was really cool. especially she's getting training now. Yeah. That's going to be like a whole new Katara. Oh, yeah, for sure. And Sokka's getting warrior training on the side too, which is cool. I know. They've always got that in there just to just to make sure that he's keeping up, you know, which I like. Yeah. But I do fear for the North tribe because we saw the beautiful city that they've got, or beautiful. Yeah. But the Fire Nation, I feel like is going to wreak some havoc. Well, Everywhere they go, they destroy shit, so. Yes, but it's... Oh. It's almost as if the way the structure was and the way that, you know, Aang and crew found that waterbending tribe, it was like they were only found because they wanted to be found. Like, they full had, like, a a tunnel to get through, then all this stuff, like... Maybe, but they're also a bunch of very experienced kids. We're talking about the Fire Nation. They know, they, yeah. they know the location. There's a technology in their ships are pretty advanced. Mm. So I don't think they'll have an issue finding it. 
Okay. They are at a elemental disadvantage, but I think they'll somehow manage to work that out. Yeah. It'll be cool to see some proper fire and water bending battles though. And Z- everything's happening. When you think about it, Zuko, Zhao, Iro, they're all heading there. Aang's there. Katara's there. The water bending yeah. master are there. Like this is going to be big. Epi. I'm thinking the next two episodes are going to be pretty solid. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I just feel so shit for Zuko. Like, Admiral Zhao is just a piece of work, isn't he? Like, he does not have any regard for anyone else other than himself and his goals, which frustrates me. But I love Uncle Iro because I feel like he's succeeding in getting one up on him. Yeah. Pulling yeah. the wool over his eyes. Yeah. Pretty cool tie in the way they made the water bending master be the original engaged mm. uh, man engaged to Katara's grandmother and furthermore tying that into, you know, defying the rules and the customs in place that yeah. are holding, holding people back. Her grandmother's story sort of represented that, which in the end Katara, you know, fought for. Yeah, and I feel like Masa Paku, is it Paku? Can't remember. I think it's Paku. Kind of gets to see the love of his life, almost like in a reincarnation of Katara, you know. It's her granddaughter, yes, with another man. But, yeah, I think that's, like, a nice reminder of maybe, like, what he fights for and maybe what he lost as well. I think it's more second one, that yeah. what he lost because of the customs and the rules. Yeah. And not wanting to make that same mistake twice. Yeah. It'd be cool. I'm really looking forward to the next two episodes. That'll be cool. Mm, we'll, have to make sure, we'll have to make sure we watch those parts together. Oh, yeah. I have a feeling you can't separate those. No way. Uh, this this episode actually got me really excited for the finale. Yeah, this episode felt very sentimental almost yeah. because it just feels like such a big journey. We've been here for so long. We finally, we all began as just some random kids together, yeah. didn't know how to do anything. And then we finally got into the water trap after so many yeah. stops and lessons and, and learnt and everything. It's but just the contrast as well, like the Southern Water Tribe was so small, like the men were off at war, there was only little kids and women around, and then it just felt so overwhelming, like there was such a big welcome from everyone in the tribe for just like three people, and then, you know, that dinner and just that atmosphere, it just felt so, so well put together, and yeah, yeah the vibe was awesome. Yeah, it was cool. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. If you haven't already, leave a like and hit that subscribe button so you know as soon as the next two episodes drop because I've got a feeling they're going to be big. Yeah. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys on the next reaction. See you guys.